Today on our 2013 Chevrolet Captiva Sport, we're going to be installing the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 13594. Now here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately 4 inches. From the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 15 and a quarter inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. Before we begin our installation, we're going to go over the tools that we're going to be using to install our hitch today. We'll need a safety strap, some spray lubricant, a large pry bar, nylon tube brush, ratchet, a three quarter inch socket, and a torque wrench. That's all the tools that we're going to need to install our hitch today. Now let's go ahead and get started on the installation. First, we're going to need to install a safety strap to help support the exhaust. With our safety strap in place, next we're going to need to remove three rubber exhaust hangers. There's one here on the driver's side, one right here in the middle, and one over here on the passenger side. In order to remove the rubber exhaust hangers, we're going to use a little bit of spray lubricant and a large pry bar. Now with the rubber exhaust hangers removed, we can go ahead and use our safety strap and lower down the exhaust a little. Next let's go ahead and point out our mounting locations. There will be a total of six mounting locations, three on each side. So we'll be using this location here, here, and here. Now over on the driver's side, it's an exact mirror image of the passenger side. Next we're going to go ahead and use a little bit of spray lubricant and our nylon tube brush to clean out each of the existing weld nuts. The tube brush we're using is part number 814092. Now once you've cleaned out the existing weld nuts, it's a good idea to make sure that the hardware threads in easily before you put the hitch up in place. If it does not, you will need to continue to clean the threads. Next let's go over the hardware that we'll be using to secure our hitch to the vehicle. The hardware that we'll be using today is a 12 millimeter hex nut and a half inch conical tooth washer. You want to make sure that the teeth face towards the hitch when installed. Now the hardware will be the exact same at all six locations. Now it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you raise the hitch up into position. With the hitch raised up into position, we'll go ahead and loosely install all the hardware. Once all the hardware is installed, we can come back and tighten it down and then torque it to the manufacturer's specification. Now that all of our hardware is torqued down, we can go ahead and raise our exhaust back up and reattach the rubber exhaust hangers.
With the rubber exhaust hangers reattached, we can go ahead and remove our safety strap. And with that, that'll do it for the installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 13594, as installed on our 2013 Chevrolet Captiva Sport.